Hi everybody, welcome back to Philosophy Media. In this video, I'll be installing the application you're seeing on your screen right now. If you've never seen this before, it's called Cherry Tree. It's an extremely useful application that can be used for creating and organizing all of your notes. It's feature rich, it has syntax highlighting, image handling, hyperlinks, and input and output support for many different formats, which provides the ability to export your documents as a PDF, an HTML, or even just as good old plain text. It's also extremely customizable and has many other great features. To download and install it, you can just open up a browser, search for Cherry Tree. I'll click on the first link. And then right here, we have a few different options. Now we've got one for stable, one for testing, and one for GitHub. And I'm on Debian 10 stable, so I'm just going to go with that and click on stable. And then right here, we have three different uh, versions. We got one for 12, one for 11, and one for 10. I'm not sure why there's a different one for 11 and 12, um, but I know 10 uses Python 2 as its default, which doesn't even come with Debian 11 and 12. Uh, so it definitely caused some concern. But yeah, I guess we'll find out as uh, today I'm going to just install all of them. I've got a few different virtual machines running, uh, one with Debian 10, one with 11, and one with 12. So I think we'll just install these and uh, see what we get. Uh, because I know quite a bit's changed, especially for uh, Debian 10. There's a couple of packages and dependencies I'm um, not even sure are available anymore. So we may have to hunt around for those and, uh, and see what we can get. But by the end of this video, we'll definitely have Cherry Tree running on all three of these versions. I'm just not sure how smooth of a ride it's going to be. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll just show you those now. So we're up here on the top left. We got Debian 10. On the right, uh, Debian 11. And then down here at the bottom, we got 12. So like I said, 10, I think is going to give us the most trouble. So maybe I'll start with that and get out of the way. Uh, and then the rest should be a breeze. And yep, maybe I'll just uh, make this full screen. And get a terminal going. Make this bigger. And now if I ls, you can see I already have a text document in there. Uh, cherry tree underscore Debbie and underscore 10 uh, txt. And maybe I'll just have a peek at that quick. And these are just some basic instructions on how to install the application uh, that are very similar to the ones on the actual website itself. Uh, with the exception of these dependencies right here. I'm not sure why, but on the website, they don't give you those dependencies. Uh, they give you all these ones up here. Well, for some reason, they always leave these two out. And if you don't get an error when you try to install, uh, it may cause you problems uh, down the road. So I just go ahead and install those and get those out of the way. And to show you that, actually, maybe show you the website. Maybe I'll just open up a browser here. And just search for Cherry Tree. Uh, user's Manual. I'll click on the first link. And then right under Installation, I'm just going to click on Debian. And here's the instructions uh, that you just saw in my text editor, uh, except it doesn't tell us to install those dependencies. You can maybe try to install it without them and see what happens. I would definitely get errors, though. Um, and yeah, and then we can just figure out how to work around that. But yeah, the first thing it's going to want us to do is install these dependencies up here. And then after that, we'll have to download the Python package. And again, this is for Python 2. So these instructions will only work with Debian 10. Because um, that's the only version of Debian uh, left that actually supports Python 2. But after that, we'll uh, go ahead and install it. Uh, that uh, Python package. And then we'll download Cherry Tree. Uh, this is a fairly old version though. So I think I might uh, just use this command and substitute the URL for the newer version. And then down here was where we're gonna install Cherry Tree. Well, before we do that, like I said, we're gonna have to install those dependencies. So to start off, well, I guess I'll just copy all these. Go back to the terminal. Let me get another tab going. Make that bigger. And then as good practice, I'll just update quick. All right, update. So I'll just paste that command in. And enter. 
Yeah, and I already have most of these installed. So yeah, that's the command to use. So now we have our dependencies, or at least most of them. And go back to the website here. And it's gonna want us to download this Python package. So I'm just gonna copy this. Paste the terminal, hit enter. And that's not great. <laughs> uh, 404 not found. So if we copy the URL right, uh, which we did, uh, most likely means that server just doesn't exist anymore, uh, which really suck or the file doesn't. But we definitely need that file to install uh, Cherry Tree on Debian 10. So we're definitely gonna have to find it. And yeah, it could still be in the uh, Debian pool or something like that. So let's just search for it and see what we get here. So I'll just copy that, go back to the browser and search for it. And what do we got here? Oh, there's a Cali pool. Maybe I'll try uh, the other one. And I think this guy right here, uh, Debian pool, main pool. So I'll click on that. And this looks promising. So if I go back to the terminal, uh, we want 2.10.1 slash 3, 2.10.13, 2.10.13. Uh, 2.10.13 AMD 64. I think that's the one we need right there. So I'm just going to click on that. That shouldn't take long to download. So now if I just go into my file manager here, go into downloads. Yeah, there it is right there. So I think what I'll do is just, uh, yeah, I'll leave that right there. So let's see what they want us to do next. So after you're done downloading, now we just install it. So just command right here, go back to the terminal. And then we're gonna have to go into uh, downloads here. And there it is. So we can just use the uh, dpkg command with the uh, dash i flag to install. And I'll just copy this. Give that a space, paste that in there, hit enter. Yeah, and there we go, that's done. So hopefully that's the same package and uh, works just the same way. And now we can download Cherry Tree. And yeah, like I said, this is a really old version though. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, search for Cherry Tree. And go back to their main website. Click that stable download again. And then just click on Debian 10 right here. And now we have that downloaded. We can just go back to our terminal here. Actually, maybe we'll go back to instructions and just going to use wget. Or not wget, sorry, um, what am I thinking here? Use uh, this guy right here. Uh, because it already downloaded it, so we don't need to uh, do that. So let's go back to the uh, terminal. And we're still gonna have to install those other two dependencies. So all that's left for us to do now is to install Cherry Tree. So the package that we just finished downloading. And before we do that, we're going to have to install uh, these dependencies right here. But actually, I think what I'll do now maybe is just uh, I try to install it, uh, let it fail. In case you were trying to do this earlier too and you kept getting an error when you tried to install it. And then we'll go ahead and install those dependencies and then try to reinstall it and then it should work. So if I ls, uh, there's cherry tree right there. So if we try to install it, let's say sudo uh, dpkg dash i, and then I'll copy this in. I'm almost positive we're going to get an error here. So I'll hit enter. Yeah, dependency errors. 
So what we can do here is we can either say sudo apt install dash f. Well, because I already know what those dependencies are, I think I'm just going to copy and paste them. So go back here and I'll make sure to leave these in the description of this video too. So we'll copy that, come back here, paste that there and hit enter. Okay, so now we should be good to install. I just wanted to see this other error here, see if it tells us what uh, what dependencies it's missing. Yeah, there they are right there. So if you do get dependency errors, all you have to do is look at the error and check and see which uh, dependency didn't get installed. And then you can just build your command after that. So as you can see, these are the exact same ones that are right there and right there and then right there and right there. So now if we try to install cherry tree, uh, we can just do that right there and I'll hit enter. And no errors. So that's definitely a good sign. So now we'll just go to another tab here and try to open it up and see what we get. There it is, hit enter. And here's cherry tree and Debian 10. And it, yeah, it doesn't look that great right out of the box, but like I said, it's extremely customizable. There is all kinds of stuff you can do with this, uh, especially the way it looks. Uh, like you can format all your headings, all your headers or whatever. Uh, you got rich text, plain text. You can change up your theme, uh, change fonts, links. You can change everything in the toolbar. Uh, all kinds of useful uh, useful options there. But yeah, so that's uh, Cherry Tree on Debian time. So what I'll do now is just go back to my uh, virtual machines here. And we can move on with uh, Debian 11. I'll just full screen it. And here we have Debian 11. Uh, so I guess the first order of business should be to get a terminal going. So I'll do that. Let's get rid of this menu bar, make the text a bit bigger. And now if I ls, you can see I have another text document in here. I uh, just put some more uh, basic install instructions. And these would be for Debian 10, as you can see. That I completely misspelled, but that's no, okay. So let's just have a look at that and see what we got. All right, quite a bit shorter than the list we were just looking at to install uh, Cherry Tree on Debian 10. Uh, the bad news is, are these the instructions we were following on the website will be completely useless here uh, because uh, Debian 11 and 12 don't use Python 2. Um, but the good news is this looks much easier. <laughs> As all we have to do is install this one dependency. And then after that, we can just uh, download uh, Cherry Tree and then verify the download, which we forgot to do in the last example. Sorry about that. Uh, make it executable which we also forgot in the last example, but uh, worked out anyways, so that's always nice. And then after that, we can just install Cherry Tree and we're done. So it doesn't look too difficult at all. So I think what I'll do is I'll just copy this. And before I install that, I'll just do a quick update. And we're all up to date. And while I'm thinking of it, maybe I'll just do this in another tab here. There we go. So I'll just paste that in and this should install that dependency. Yeah, and then there we go. So now that that's installed, we can uh, go ahead and download Cherry Tree. So all we have to do to do that is use uh, wget. So go back over here. And then of course we also need the URL. So we'll have to find that. I guess I could just grab it with the USB from the other virtual machine, but uh, that seems just a bit easier. Okay, let's go to Cherry Tree again. And there we go. 
and then stable. And then we want uh, Debian 11 cherry tree right here. So I'm just going to right click on that, select copy link, and then go back to the terminal. Uh, paste that in there, hit enter. W get command not found. Oh, well, that's all right. We can just install it. I thought it came by default, but I guess not. Oh, there we go. So let's try that again. Yeah, now we have it. So now if I ls, there it is right there. And then if I go back here, I guess we can just verify it. So, and we still have to make it executable too, I guess. So if I ls shell, yeah, you can see it's not executable. So do that. all we have to do is say chmod plus x. And then throw this guy in here. And enter. And now if we ls that shell. Yeah, we're now executable. So now we just have to check it with the hash. So to do that, we can just say SHA sum. Or sorry, uh, SHA256. Sum with a space. And then copy and paste this in. Hit enter. And there's our hash. So it starts in 293 and ends in 5C7. So 293, 5C7. 293, 5C7. And just go down here. Okay. And there we are right there. 293, uh, 5C7. 293, 5C7. 293, 5C7. Okay, so we're verified. And now that's good. We can uh, just go ahead and install Cherry Tree. Cherry tree. And we can do that just with the DPK, DPKG command. So, let me say sudo uh, DPKG dash I with a space. And then copy and paste this in. Hit enter. Huh, dependency error. Um, oh yeah, we need a few more dependencies. Uh, okay, no big deal. So we can either say sudo avt install dash f and that should fix it. But I actually like to uh, just install them one by one. So I'm just going to copy this, or not one by one, but I guess manually, instead of letting the system figure it out for me. Uh, so we got that one, and we need this one, and this one right here. A little paste, and now I'll hit enter. Unmet dependencies, try fix and broke install. Okay, never mind. Say sudo avt install dash f. And select yes. Okay, let's try that again. So sudo dpkg dash i space. Copy, paste, enter. Oh, no errors. That's always nice and promising. So yeah, if you do get any more dependency errors, just use the sudo apt uh, install dash f, and that should fix them for you. And then you can go ahead and try to reinstall the package. So now if I go to a different workspace and search for cherry tree, there it is right there. So I'll hit enter. And there we go. We got it on the system for Debian 11. So it wasn't quite as easy as I thought because we did have those few other dependencies I, I uh, missed. But uh, yeah, regardless, it's uh, easily fixable.
Yeah, and everything looks good here. Well, and I forgot to mention too, uh, in case you don't know how to use Cherry Tree and you're just getting started, um, you can't really just start going anywhere and just start typing. As you can see, it's not really doing anything. The first thing you have to do is you have to create a new node. So you just click on this guy. And then type in the name you want. So I'll say example. And then that creates a node for you. And then you can follow this the uh, tree structure here. And you just say, uh, for example, I'll just say level zero one. And then that creates a uh, another document inside the one that you created before. And then you can also select whether you want to save it as a database or do whatever you want to. Uh, definitely tons of options here to uh, play around with. I'll just cancel this and maybe close that off and we can discard those changes. Don't need them. And I think that about does it for uh, Debian 11. So up next, we just have a uh, 12 and then we should be good here. Oh, my windows got all messed up there. Okay. So I'll just full screen this. And here we have Debian 12. And I'll open up the terminal. And make this a bit bigger. And now if I less here, you can see I have another text file. Just another uh, short instruction list. So if we just have a peek at that. You can see it looks even a little bit better than the last one we we're looking at for Debian 11. Um, as all we have to do here is just download Cherry Tree. And we'll verify the SHA hash. And after that, we'll make it executable. And then after that, we'll install it. And hopefully, we can just run those commands, not have any dependency issues. Uh, I guess because it is a newer version, maybe those uh, dependencies are just already satisfied. At least that was the case last time I installed it on Debian 12. But uh, yeah, let's see what, we, uh, see what we get this time. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just make sure, I guess, wget is installed. So I'll say apt search wget. And yep, there it is right there. So now we just have to open a browser, go to cherry tree. All right, it's like we've done every other time. Let me get rid of that. Go back down to stable and Debian 12. So this is the guy we want right here. So I'm just going to right click on that and copy link and then go back to the terminal and just say wget with a space and then paste that guy in there, hit enter. And now if ls, yeah, there it is right there. So I guess now we can just verify it. So I'll say copy and say SHA-256, some space, paste that in, hit enter. And here we have 626, and then it ends in 1E5. So 626, 1E5. Go back here. So Debian 12. Uh, do, do, do double check that again. Uh, 626, 1E5. And here we are right here. 626-1E5. And yeah, that's for Debian 12. So we're good. And now all I guess we have to do is install it and see if we get any uh, dependency issues. And do that. All we have to do is say sudo. Uh, DKPG or uh, PKG, sorry, dash I space and then copy and paste in the uh, package we just downloaded. Hit enter. Yeah, we got some more dependency issues. I was hoping that wouldn't be a problem with this uh, newer release, but 
I guess that's not the case. So let's do what we did before. Let's say sudo apt install dash f, hit enter. Uh, select yes. Yeah, there are more dependencies in the last uh, release. Yeah, everything looked okay. So now I guess I'll just go to a different workspace and search for uh, cherry tree. Oh, and there it is. Hit enter. Beautiful. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, one big difference I did find between the new version from the website and the older one in the repositories is it didn't have a, a few of these features, uh, like the, uh, the format, the uh, headers. It would only have H1, H2, and H3 and stuff like that. And there would just be the odd thing missing here and there. Uh, so if you want the newest features, obviously you just go with the, uh, the newest package right from the website instead of using the D1 in the repositories. Uh, yeah, if you like to stick to ones in repositories too, you can always do that. You just may be missing a couple features here and there. But yeah, everything looks like it installed okay though. So I'm just gonna close this and maybe close that off. And yeah, I think that about wraps it up for Cherry Tree. Um, maybe I'll just uh, really quick here. We got run there. I should have uh, left this open before. Well, it doesn't matter. Work in there. I don't know why my windows keep doing that. That's getting pretty annoying. And then W12. Yeah, so we got Cherry Tree installed on all versions. And uh, yeah, I think that about wraps it up. It can be a bit difficult to get installed, uh, seeing as how each version is installed differently. Um, but I hope this helped clear up some of that. Uh, clear up some of those problems that you may be having before if you're having any dependency issues and all, uh, all that mess. And yeah, I guess by the end of it, we found out that uh, Debian 11 and Debian 12 were pretty much installed the exact same way. You can just install whichever dependency you think you might need. And then if it fails, just run the sudo apt install dash f. And then just try to reinstall it and you should be good. But yeah, I think that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video and hope to see you on the next one. Bye for now.